Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called AAA Authentication Using a Local Database. If you're not familiar with AAA Authentication, you should look at my previous video which goes over this concept. Alice is a network engineer who wants to give the people underneath her access to the company routers. We're going to take a look at the main commands that she uses and then actually look at her as she implements the process. In the global configuration mode, we will use the username command to add username privilege levels and passwords to the internal database. The AAA new model command will allow us to use usernames, password combinations. The AAA authentication login command will allow us to use what methods we want for authenticating users. And inside of the line configuration mode, we will use the login authentication followed by the label to decide which method list we will use. Here we are looking at the command prompt of the computer. Let's turn it into the test router. We see that the test router will not allow us to log into it. Let's go to the test router and configure it. We are now putting in the username passwords of Alice, Bob, Cindy, and Dan. Note that we will do this before we run the AAA new model because if we were to become disconnected before putting in any usernames and passwords, we will be locked out of the test router. Now we can safely put in the AAA new model. Now let's configure the methods we will allow the test router to authenticate on its various line interfaces. Here we see a number of choices that we can authenticate from, but the one we're interested in is login. This is a label. I normally prefer to use uppercase letters when creating labels. Now we need to configure what methods we will use for authentication. In this example, I will use the local database and the line password. Okay, now let me create an authentication method list for the VTY line. I'm only going to allow the use of the local database for authenticating. And now I'm creating a default method list for any other interfaces that I might have forgotten. Now let's apply the method list to the line console. Notice that I'm using the same method list that I created for AAA authentication called console login. And now I'll do the same to the VTY line. Okay, let's try telnetting again. I am able to log in with the username of Alice, 
and the password of Philip Brown 1. I am unable to increase my privilege level using the enable command. I need to create an enable secret password command. And even though it will accept this by default, I will still directly configure the router to use the enable password in order to access the enable secret password. Now Alice is able to elevate her privileges with the Philip Brown password. Using the local database is fine if you only have a few networking devices. But in the next video, we're going to look at a method that gives centralized authentication for companies with a large number of networking devices. I hope this video is informative and I thank you for viewing.